YouTube, what's up? I'm back with another gameplay. This is Salary Cap Ranked, the club series leaderboard. If you're not playing this and you want to compete, you need to be playing Salary Cap Ranked season six games. If you win six, you get 90K coins. And that's really a big deal for me because they're rewarding you to be a good player and, and get your wins. Even if you win five, four games or something like that, you'll get some good coins. Now, if you like these gameplays, I really would like y'all to hit the like button, hit the sub button, and comment on what was your favorite play of the game or what you think I could have did differently to make these games easier. I'm wearing the Raiders jerseys because uh, they don't have any good Eagles road jerseys. They're just a stale, you know, white jersey with the, with the green pants. So I grabbed the, the Raiders jerseys with the nice, you know, the all white with the silver helmet. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty neat looking. You know, look good, feel good, feel good, play good. Here we go. First play, obviously, this guy's running a little 3-3-5. Three, three, ah, the loop crossfire. So, I like to get rid of the ball quickly. It's cover three. You know, so it's hard to defend the flats because there's not that many people over there. And they are. They're either in cloud flats or hard flats. So you got to make the right read. Here we go. We make the right read. We throw a ball to Odell Beckham. Easy first drive right down the field on that 3-3-5 three, three, loop. Didn't try to make a big play. Didn't try to go up top. They didn't try to match with Tech, just made a right read, got rid of the ball, and that's that's how you have to play. That's how you had to play it last year, and that's how you have to play it this year. Make some quick reads. Where's this guy go? He's in tight. It's tight offset. I need to get good at recognizing which tight is which because each tight will defend you different ways. And here we go. I don't know how this happened to Patrick Peterson. It frustrates me because I'll, I'll press my cover three and he runs in with a draw. I'm really pissed because I'll press my cover three, I'll back up Patrick Peterson, and he'll decide to run up and, and press the wide receiver anyway, and that's how he got burnt. So I gave up a cheap touchdown. I know you guys watch these gameplay videos. I hate giving up cheap touchdowns, and that's what I did there, and it was really frustrating. Here he did, after get listen, after getting cute on, or after taking a basic on offense, dot, 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 he started getting cute on defense. I know he would. So he cross-manned everybody, and I was able to hit Moss on a fade up top because you can't man up Moss, and you definitely can't cross-man Moss. Here we go, Vic overthrowing the high ball to Moss. That, that's okay because, you know, Tyreek Hill dropping an easy catch. Frustrating. He made me kick three there. Not get, You can't get mad at Vic for overthrowing a high ball, and you can't really get mad at Tyreek Hill for dropping and catching traffic. He's not the strongest wide receiver you have him for speed, not for catching traffic. I'm so afraid of that play happening again. But we're screaming at him. I don't want to give up a cheap touchdown. This guy's not good enough. I don't really know. The game's so early, I don't know if he's good enough or not. But he's damn sure good enough if you're giving up one play touchdowns to him. Here we go. We just start screaming at him with more. Get him to a third and 19. Dumps the ball off. Good play by him to get enough of the yards back. You know, 19. You don't have to go 19 in one play. He'll no huddle. Go to fourth and seven. You know, we... Want to maybe switch it up, but fourth and seven, I think my cloud flats can cover well enough to where I can run. Uh, maybe maybe protect the sticks here, get like in between the cloud flat and the hard flat. He audibles to this set, which I, I mean, I don't really like this set that much. I know there's only one crossing route in this set that can beat me, and that's pretty much what I have to guard. And, I, and he throws the ball at the Patrick Peterson. I got the glitchy pass rush, and Patrick Peterson doesn't allow that to go. Fletcher Cox got to the quarterback, made that an easy play. And here we go, dot over the middle, Randy Moss. Really cooking with gas on offense right now. If it wasn't for a Tyreek Hill drop, we'd have 21 points. So we're killing this 3 3 5 odd right now. So he has to press the issue. Now we're up 10 points. Great place to be on offense and Madden up two possessions. Here we go, the draw killing me. I mean, Fletcher Cox is rushing the passer, but he's not really fighting for me on the draw. Here we go again, I missed the tackle. Runs by, gets another 10 yards with Ronald Jones, a speedy rookie for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and here's a big play. I slept on this play. I didn't see it coming. It was the first time he ran it. Little wheel route. I went uh, hard flat. So he was able to throw the wheel route over top of the hard flat and running the touchdown with Julio Jones. So that's kind of an easy touchdown, but a nice play by him that, that he used, and I won't allow that play to beat me again. It's something I really pride myself in, in recognizing a player's strength or a player's play that he likes to use. I mean, it, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, that's shame on me. And that's something I pride myself in. So that play won't beat me again the rest of the game. But it did for one, so I'm back in a three-point game. Able to hit Tyree Kill over there on a the little curl. Get enough yards for the first down. And we'll get, that time I was greedy. I didn't take the flat. I got sacked, and that kills you. Second and 17, I dumped the ball underneath. Get a little bit of yards. Get me to a third and 15. 
Ah, this was good by him. A little bit late on my throw and it was picked off by TJ Green in a cloud flat. That's what happens when you get behind the sticks. You gotta start pressing it and you take one sack and you'll just get in trouble. And we'll Melvin Ingram, my dive, tackle Michael Vick. And if you guys played Madden so far, the quarterback will fumble on shoestring tackles. It's terrible. It's probably happened to me more than anybody else in the world. And right there, it just happened to um, Michael Vick, and I was able to get the ball back. So now we want to use as much time as possible. Hopefully get a touchdown. Todd Gurley fighting for me. Todd Gurley is my running back right now. I like Todd Gurley. He runs strong for me. There's uh, Odell Beckham taking a hit over the middle of the field. Wait on the ball. Go to Odell Beckham again. Can he fight in? No. But he uses all the timeouts. That's okay. It's early in the game. There's no point in, in pressing it. I feel like I can play good defense and force him to work. And here we go again. He ran all verticals up the field. That should be a sack, but it's an incompletion, which is huge, which saves him at least 20 seconds. Here he goes. Those a little wheel route to Ronald Jones. Tackle him in bounds. That's all I want. Tick, 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 tick. Get him. Run again. This time I'm coupling the vertical route. And you know, he just chucks it at me. And Randy Moss catches it in front of me and... Boom, gets into the 32 yard line. Frustrating. I mean, he kind of had a kind of had to chuck it. He's running out of time, no timeouts. But for Moss to catch that right in front of my face, in my face mask. I don't know, man. Might be the Raiders jerseys, but I, I just got caught, just got teabagged by Randy Moss right there. But uh, but I kick off now. That that three was big because now he's only down three. He has the ball. I feel like everything he's gotten is a little bit. Now the run is I don't know, the run is killing me. Just great job of me clicking on and clicking off, making that tackle with uh, TJ Green. Not giving up a huge play. Here we go, Eric Berry in my spy going to get the quarterback. Boom. Once again, we, and we drop a, I mean, everybody drops a pick on that play. It might really be the Raiders jerseys at this point. But everybody drops, drops a pick on the play. Then he throws right at me again. Catches that. It's just, it's getting ugly. Drop pick. Catch my face catch, face catch, drop pick. I'm going to get the ball back. You know, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to get the ball back when this continues to happen over and over. Here's that wheel route play again. I cover it, but he hits the backside slant and holds on to it. That's what I mean about recognizing the wheel route play and covering it. But he was able to hit the little slant over the, over the top. TJ Green, catch him in the backfield. TJ Green is a great card. If you don't have TJ Green in your salary cap lineup, I mean, you're doing it wrong. Josh Jones, another great one. Tackle. Fletcher Cox fighting high ball over the middle, but uh, Jalen Ramsey knocks it out of Antonio Brown's hands. Hold him to three to tie the game up. It's 20 to 20. I feel okay. I still got to put together a good offensive drive. I'm going to get a stop. I know I'm going to get a turnover. This guy is flirting with turnovers every other play. And we go again. We're going to run a little wheel route play. Hit him over here, Tyreek Hill. I'm all conservative right now, so I can't make any moves because I'm feeling when you start feeling the game wants to fight you a little bit, you got to do what you can to make sure you don't. You know, fall into victim of that. Here we go, hit Odell on the dot. That's smooth. That's how I started the game. That's how I went down the field easily. Got to get back to that. Hit underneath, hit Tyreek Hill. Like I said, I don't, I'm on conservative. I can't spin or juke. So that's what's killing me right now. Here we go, high ball to Moss. He was strafing 10 yards in front of him. When you high ball to Moss, you know, it's going to take a lot. You're going to have to pretty much sit on that and use her that to stop it. So boom, we go right back down the field again. Get seven. We're up seven. It's time for our turnover. It really is time for our turnover because I, mean, I feel like I should have five turnovers and I have none. And now, finally, we're starting to fight on a run. There's Clowney. Here we go again. Fletcher Cox fighting. Melvin Ingram and Clowney both fighting. Get back into the play. Runs a little play action here. Throws it up to Pat P. You know what Pat P does? He knocks the ball away. I mean, I could have liked this super pick right there. Here we go again. We're fighting on the run a little bit. Clowney keeps block shutting outside. I mean, 10 carries, 92 yards a lot. Here he goes, a little play action. He puts three wide receivers out on the route. I don't know what he was trying to do. He throws the ball up out of bounds. Gets with four, a third and two. And, you know, fourth and two sometimes are audible to man coverage. And all his wide receivers are super boxed. And we get our turnover. Not a turnover pick or a fumble, but turnover on downs. So here we go now. We're going to try to run the clock out in the game. He calls to his timeouts early. I know you get freaky on defense, start manning people up. So when they do that, you got to go up top to Odell. Boom! Inside the five-yard line. That'll effectively end the game, especially when Todd Gurley gets into the end zone. So now we're up 14, two scores. 10 or 14 at this point in the game, I think really doesn't matter that much. But we're up 14, so he needs to... It, it, the way he's playing offense, I feel like there's no shot for him to go down and get 14 points. Throws underneath. This is fine at this point in the game. I just want time off the clock. Time is my only opponent right now. Not this guy. No, every time he's going to this, he's ran four verticals. And I got to cover Randy Moss on the crossing route. And we get the sack. Ingram and Clowney fighting. 
Tackle him in bounds is all we can ask for right now. He no huddles. Third and ten, we gotta make a play. Somebody gotta step up, end this game. I don't wanna be in this game anymore. This guy shouldn't be on my field. But he is, he's taking a lot of time at the line. Runs a little zigzag route. That's okay. Go down here, tackle him. Perfect. Just tick, 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 tick. That's all you want. You want the time off the clock. Get him to fourth down. Second time in the game, he's going to this formation on fourth down, which I don't know why he's in this formation. It's one crossing route I have to guard. That's pretty much it. And he's taking all day at the line of scrimmage. Got his two slants. I'm going to go back on the crossing route. Boom. And Clowney gets there in time. GG's in the chat. Pauses the game. He quits. And that's the way it goes. That's the way the game went. I thought it shouldn't have been that close. But, you know, that's the way uh, every game you play, somebody's going to be in the game with you. That's pretty much how it is sometimes. And you got to fight. And you got to continue to keep your composure. No matter how many drop picks you have or catches they kept in traffic, you've got to keep your foot on the gas and keep all your mind working on, on winning the game. If you like the video, if you want more gameplays, like I said, hit the like, sub to the YouTube channel. You can also find all my offense and defense that you see in these videos on Madden Turf. So go ahead. That link is in the description. Make sure you click that link. Check out Madden Turf for all my offense, my defense. And you can also watch these games live. My Twitch chat or my Twitch channel link is in the description as well. Check out all the links in the description. Thanks, y'all.